So away we go. So <laughs> we plant the seed in the springtime, normally about the last of March, depending on the weather, on the first week of April. Flax seed or linseed is quite correct to call it either. That's all right to call it down. Small seed, so it's sown in early spring in April, and it's uh, after 14 weeks in the ground, it's ready for harvesting. No, 14, okay. 14 or 15 weeks in the ground. Again, it depends on the climate. Then. Yeah. And then it, uh, now it, blo it blossoms out into a blue and white blossom, normally about halfway, halfway through the stage, about six or seven weeks, it's into a blossom, blue or white. And so it can be last week in June and into the first week of July, it's in full blossom. Then those blossoms are very sensitive to light and they would last for about two to three weeks. Plex, Annie, as I was saying, is planted early in the springtime and it, uh, that uh, we would harvest it then in August. And in the olden days it was uh, pulled by hand, but now, of course, modern machinery will do all that. And it's, uh, that uh, after it's pulled, it's uh, set up and dried, taken into the barns and the seeds taken off it. But in the olden days, because flax, it's a very ancient crop. It was cultivated in Egypt 5000 BC, brought along the shores of the Mediterranean by the Romans into Gaul, which is now France, and over into Britain and spread all over Europe. But we don't know who brought it over to Ireland. We don't know that. We don't know. And we certainly, and we certainly don't know who brought it to Dromore. Well, so, yeah, we don't know that. <laughs> Somebody said McConville's brought it to Dromore. <laughs> we, 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 we don't know about that, you see. This was no machinery in those days. We're talking about uh, 5000 BC. This is how they took the seed off it here. That's called uh, simply a rippler. Yep. See that there? Yep. Well, then that's starting with this here, you see, you finish with that. Well, then that's the seed, as you can see there. And then the seeds are inside these wee pods here. Well, now, flax, it's a very tough crop, as you can see here. See that there? Now, you couldn't scotch or process that there very well there because of the toughness. Because the, what makes linen is actually on the outside of it. See that there? See that? See that? See, there's it there. See that? That's on the outside. The waste is in the inside. Yeah. You see it peeling off? Yeah. That's there. There's the very, there you are. You can see that? that's, now, that's, that, that's, that's what right. makes linen there coming off the outside. That there. You see that? Mm -hmm. Now, the waste is in the inside. Well, now, the, for uh, scotches, for that to be scotched in the mills, such as this one here, and even modern machinery, it has to be stepped in water for nine to 14 nights. So the next thing you notice is taken out into the field and dried. The first thing you notice is the colour. You see the two different colours. So this, we've got something very different here now. See this here? See it where it's breaking up, you see? As opposed to that there, you see? See that? See? <laughs> Now that's that waste of what's called shaves. Locally we would call it shaves, but shaves, S-H-A-V-E-S. See the way that's all breaking up because that was in the water there, you see. Now that uh, over here now, we have uh, the, uh, uh, the early, we're way back in the Egyptian times. So this is just, we're actually a form of crimping it here, do you see this here? No machinery, do you see, in those days. We're way back 7,000 years ago. You go back to the hard scotch. Yes. <laughs> yes. Out in the field. Yes. Yeah. So there you are. That's how that was done. Well, then over here, uh, they would have scotched it then. This is how they scotched it now. There was no, no machinery, you see. Yeah. That's your hand scotching. That's there. Hand, yeah, simply exactly. hand scotching. And they just walked at that. You can imagine how slow the process was. Exactly. But then there was no other way to do it. We would think it's slow now, but they didn't think it's slow, you know. No, uh -huh. See, there was no other way to do it, you see. Oh, there's a, a flax in our family. Yeah. It runs back on my grandmother's side. It runs back for a while, over 200 years. A great, great, great parents would have been come from Luxembourg That's and they had the skills and they brought the skills exactly. over to the, to the whole area, Lisbon, which is a town from nine miles from here, uh -huh. and uh, Dromore here, which is on the River Lagan, yeah. you see. Excellent. So, so the, it's uh, here a long, long time, you know. Yeah. So this was a, a mill and it went a very long time. As you can see, we just have it now as a museum there. Mm -hmm. 
That, there's no two of those the same. They're all yeah. different ones there. You see that all? Yeah. See that? They're all different. That's what the flax mills there would have. It would have, it, it would have went away from the scotch mills in that form there. Well, then, when it went to the, to the big spinning mills, then it went through a hackling process, which is simply combing it and taking out unwanted fibres out of it. So this here, this is what you, you finished up here, and that's known as a sliver. Well, then that would be divided up again and again and so again and again. And then it spun and made into yarn then, like this here. And then after that, it's, it's woven into linen. And that's unbleached linen there. We, we produced that, we grew that ourselves from seed. Um, and, then we, and we got that Ferguson's. done in the big spinning mills. Yeah. Yeah. Ferguson's, Ferguson's, Ferguson's and Bambridge there done yeah. that yep. there. Did you ever do any do redding here? Did you do not so very not much here. Long, no. Some of it has been done here. It was a reasonable success, but it can be more done over in France for their climate lends itself better. Uh -huh. and the more, it's a more milder climate. Uh, yeah. You see yeah. that. Uh, uh, so you know, we can, we have done it here, but uh, if we don't get the right weather, where you're not sure of the crop, you know. Right. That's so true. Uh, whereas in France, right. there's too big a risk here. Yeah. Too big a risk here. Yeah. Yeah, yes. Uh, well, then in here we have a, an 1875 oh, water wheel oh, here. Now, there's a long history, oh, so there's a long, a very long history to that water wheel there. It came here, my late father, he acquired it in his young days, and it was in a, in a dismantled state, and so it was all built by hand. There was a number of workers. They all had to be assembled by hand. Oh, there was God. no lifting equipment or no modern way of doing things. You're talking about 10 tonnes in weight. And they had oh, that they all. Move it into place? Yes, they oh had to God. build it all in in sections, oh, all in bits awesome. and pieces, wow. all built in sections. Yes. Have you heard of Harry Ferguson, the tractor man? You've heard of Ferguson tractors. Yeah, Ferguson tractors. Really? Yes, oh the very God. man that invented the Ferguson tractor, the whole hydraulic three-point linkage system. He was in here. This is on the River Ligon. It is really. It starts in the Mourne Mountains yeah. and flows to Belfast. Well, I'll start her up. Okay. So do you hand This is the starting hammer. Is that it? Oh, <laughs> do you hand crank the beginning and then... That's the sluice. You're opening the sluices. Uh -huh. Oh, That's okay. the sluice we're left. what you call striker. Now this is Scotchy. Yes, this is like, uh -huh. we've only seen this on the videos from Northern Ireland. That's the only one going. Oh, that's so great. <laughs> They would just yeah. throw the, the bundles across. Yeah! Ah, it's so great! It's so great! <laughs> oh, and then you can do a lot of Every stage is getting cleaner. Look at that! <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! The workers here started at half eight in the morning to six, mm -hmm. took their breaks, and each worker made his own money. Flax went out of here after the war mm -hmm. in the late 50s, definitely in the early 60s. There was no flax growing in Ireland at all. Oh my goodness. And probably in 2003 or four, they were all gone, right, dry well, spinners and all. Yeah. So that's near the story of the yeah. linen as far as we go. Yeah. <laughs> 
firmo. Sí, sí, sí.